Hello everyone, I um, hope you're all doing well. Something a little bit different today. I've seen a few people asking about um, microscope attachments and how to get working distance. And this is a journey I've been on myself uh, for quite a while now. And I think I've finally got an answer for, for my circumstances and the circumstances that I'm sure a lot of you guys find yourselves in. So what I'll do, I'll get you over to the blue mat and we'll take a look at what we've got. So we've got a couple of different types of scope attachments here. What I have here is a 0 0.35 scope attachment. It's focus adjustable with a little ring here. Again, here I have a different type of focus adjustable microscope attachment. I have a 0 0.5x microscope attachment and various other bits and pieces that I've had to acquire over time. So what I'll do, I'll talk you through what I found with each one and we'll start off with these two and initially as you can see with these both of them there's no thread on the bottom so this is the side that attaches to your trinocular microscope the problem that I found is the optics and the distance so this will sit in your scope attachment in your trinoc and the camera then screws into these threads here. Incidentally, if I just measure those threads, those are 24.7 millimeter. I'll just check on the other. Twenty-four point seven millimeter. I'm going to show you the camera that I have. It's from AliExpress. So this is the camera that I have. This version here came with a ring light and it also came with another attachment and everything you need to get started is, is there. I will show you the other attachment when we swing back over to the, the overhead. Um, but this is what you are looking for on AliExpress. I will link uh, this in the in the video description. So feel free if you want to go ahead and order that. It's not an affiliate link, um, but this is the one I use. So that I've just shown you on AliExpress also comes as a complete kit. This is what you will get. You do not get any Barlow lenses with that. Now, what I mean by a Barlow lens is one of these. The threads on these are 41.4, so 42 millimeter threads. You can get the, this is a 0 0.35, you get 0 0.5, 1x, 2x, uh, 0 0.7x. There's, there's many, many variables, and what that will do, that will alter the working distance that you have. If you're going to buy that kit off of AliExpress, you need these. To go with it the threads are extremely fine but those will go on there your camera will screw to the top everything will be good to go you then just need some way of, of holding that in in place then we have these attachments so this one i can't remember the exact name it's a uh, z SZM CTV 1 slash 3. And what I understand that to mean is that this is the equivalent of a 0.35x. So it's going to increase your working distance. Correct me if I'm wrong there. I'm not an expert. I'm just talking to you about what I've had to go out and buy and the, the situations that I found myself in and how I've eventually got to a point where I am um, completely happy. So we've got that. This is for 
being able to extend your height on your camera between so increasing the distance between the trinocular head and the the camera itself in order to retain some focus this is utter crap utter crap and the reason i say that is there's absolutely no optics in there so forget that if you're trying to use one of these forget it bin it another piece that i bought again forget it bin it no optics nothing in there this one however no optics but i have used it i used it in conjunction with this one so what i had was this almost like a reducer there's no threads internally but there is threads externally measurement on that thread is 24.7 so it's 25 mil my camera attachment uh, the threads are obviously 25 mil so this screwed into my camera attachment this side screwed into the port on the trinocular head that's 27.5 so we got 28 mil on the trinocular head <clears throat> and that gave me everything i need this is just a little locking nut to keep that all in place and then you've got your focus adjustable which was great but i was right at the top of the focus adjustment so i had very very limited availability if i wanted to use my standoffs that i have for for working on boards that are raised off of uh, off of the um off of the desk i couldn't do that we've got this thing i don't even know what it is i don't know where it came from never used it it's meant to be a spacer of some sort it's sort of garbage so what i need to do is show you how i have my scope set up so this is my trinocular head so we've got the head here and you'll notice on this one we have a version similar to this one so we have the ZSMCTV 1 slash 2 which means half which is the equivalent of a 0.5x lens again it's it's focus adjustable that is attached to my camera with a spacer which is this actually we'll show you that so these things again i will link them they're called a c to cs mount i found them on ebay initially before that i went and bought one of these things these are meant to be a c to cs mount all these did was gave me a vignette uh, which is the, the black edges around the screen i couldn't work with them same as these two they gave me a black circle around the screen you need to match in my opinion you need to match whatever your barlow lens is which is the one we looked at here so this is the barlow whatever size that is match it with your match it with your camera lens so i have a 0.5x barlow and i have a 0.5x or equivalent of camera lens i will show you exactly what that looks like under the scope and we can go from there so now we're under the scope as i say 200 millimeters just over working distance for me that's from the bottom of my blue mat right up to the the bottom of my of my ring light on the on the trinocular head you can see we're zoomed all the way out at the moment and yeah that's that's a fantastic image for me i can see that through my eyepieces as well there's there's no distortion i'm i'm more than happy with that we can read the writing on there what i'll do i'll zoom in all the way and we'll see 
what that looks like in terms of image quality. So there we go, we're zoomed in all the way on that particular chip now, and you can see the quality is retained. Um, we are quite happy we can we can see everything there, a little bit of moving around. But you can see that's that's fantastic. What I can also do is I can raise this board. So the closer I bring it to the microscope the more out of focus it gets. However, I have my focus adjustment ring on the camera and I can then bring that back into focus like so. So to recap, in my opinion, these are absolutely crap because you get no working, you get no distance between the optics in here and the optics on the trinocular head. It's just no good. You may have a different experience with them. I may be doing something wrong. I'm not an expert. This is a noob's opinion. So we put those to one side. These cheaper. I will, again, I will link them. They are from AliExpress. These are absolutely fantastic. So I prefer to work 0.5x, and I can't stress that point enough. If you match your camera lens to your Barlow lens, it's going to make life a hell of a lot easier for you. The secret ingredient are these things. So, as you saw earlier, I have this the 0.5x equivalent. It's actually taller, the 0.5x is taller, so there's, there's more of a Gap, you've got about an inch gap. I'll actually measure the height of that for you. So you have 44.9 on the 0.5x and 33.9 millimeter on the 0.35x. However, coming back to these C to CS mount, don't go and make the mistake I did and get the, the 12 millimeter hole ones. They're auto crap you don't need those these you can stack and what they do they allow you to separate the camera itself away from the camera lens that you are using these are the secret ingredient this is what i've found to be the be all and end all Stack them, stack them, stack them, increase your working distance. They they just give you the versatility to do whatever you need to do. And with that, that will be it for this video. I appreciate your time. Um, thank you very much for bearing with me. And I'll see you on the next one.